Welcome back to ZX Prequel. It is time for us to go to Area G. Which is just kind of by itself. G whiz. The map G in this game is great. kind of weird. I, I don't know if that's just me, but... I don't see the point of the map. Hello, welcome to the Other CX series. Advertising the entire area. I caught that. They're talking about an area zero. Yeah, this is supposed to be like kind of nearby, so you know. <laughs> Curse that guy respawned back in this normal place. All the colors of the rainbow. I appreciate that there's all three elements there, just in case you weren't sure you were at the first middle stage. It's like the lost world. There's metal here. Great. Basically just Jurassic Park, but for robots. What was yeah. that door? Nothing we can deal with. I want to see a Sniper Joe. Like, I want one of those That'd be good. Well, these guys have only one big red eye, so they're basically our Joes. It's not the same. I want Gutstozer to show up. I mean, I'm sure Robo Jurassic Park has already been done, right? Yeah, yeah. But that is Slashman stage already. Oh, that's true, actually, now that I think of it. Mega Man 7 was better than people seem to think, that's what I say. 7 is great. Yeah. People don't like it, but I don't, I don't know why. Mostly because of the art style. Bleh. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> it's better than 8. 8's terrible. I also like 8. It's got good weapons. It's got a soccer ball. I really like the uh, wall jump to get up to the uh, go-through platforms you just uh, had to do with the boxes. That was pretty neat. Yeah, it was. I still don't understand why the hell they had such bad dubbing in Mega Man 8. Like, that's... Like, it's not... It's like it doesn't even sound like someone who speaks English. I mean, that was the error. Exactly that. <laughs> they literally grabbed whoever and just said, Okay, voice acting. So what is the story with this purple stank? It is dark space. It is a it's cyberspace from Mega Man Zero Three, except now it's full of viruses. It's the internet. So what happens if the the uh, percentage goes all the way up? Uh, you just take damage. That's uh, it. Vote. You vote for Trump. You get <laughs> shut down for copyright claims. It's terrible. Oh no. Which is the same as taking damage. Future DRM must be the worst. You can't even play with any of your really cool abilities. If it detects you pirated something, it just kills you. <laughs> it's, it starts what? playing the Don't Copy That Floppy song. Yeah. <laughs> and you're a robot, you can't turn it off. You wouldn't download a rep rep, 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 rep. Fuck. But I would download a pizza. You wouldn't download a Sigma, would you? <laughs> I, want, I want there to be like... They're like sharing pirated super weapons. They're like, yeah, it's real cuts, man. You know, it's great. Cut, cut, uh, cut blade or whatever. Um, Every, everyone just has like regular, like robot master weapons. Yeah, but it's like, it's like, uh, um, yeah, ro uh, like the top thing. Vince is like codex at the end, and it plays a key gen song. We can use it. It's great. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> Super Mario, <laughs> Super Mario area lines. It's great. They're all that. They're all bootleg weapons, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what was the one picture you sent me, Sai, with the Mega Man chicken stand or whatever it is? Oh yeah, that one. Mega Franco. Yeah, it was just right? chickens. Mega Man gets a stand win. Later. Oh. Also I just kind like of appreciate a... that there's a lot of enemies that are actually really improved by being possessed because they get more health, and then there's ones that are so weak that it didn't actually matter. Yeah, I mean, doesn't everything have to be, like, suddenly a chore to kill? That's fine, I think. I mean, like, a majority of these enemies right now. I mean, it's not like they actually stand much of a threat. But if they don't stand a threat, then just don't, like, then why are they there? To make you swing your dang sword. I mean, they're there. Like, I mean, if you just like crash into them, you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. it's bad level design. I guess it's in keeping with the though. So. I mean, so most of them do attack if you like don't instantly take them out. So this stage is a little bit corridor-esque. 
Yeah, really, a little I bit. I find myself to, to say too much to it. I think it's probably perfectly fine to play, but uh, watching it is just like go from right yeah. to left, now from left yeah. to right. There is an enemy. They mixed it up. You go left to right this time. Admittedly, I do like how fast the game looks. Yeah, if you feel like you can basically just shoot through everything if you want. Oh, I still hate these stupid ass more robots. Do you actually have a gun in this? Uh, no. They, that's split up. You have just sword. Huh. Just sword. I mean, you can shoot your sword at people, but that's I think that's a bit different. That's not a gun. It is if you believe hard enough. Sword that shoots guns. If I believe guns. hard enough, I'll put a bullet in your face! Gun that shoots swords. Shh, that looks dicey. That's probably been in some anime, I'm sure. Well, it's in, it was in The Punisher, and The Punisher is basically an anime. That's a good point. <laughs> it, is, it, it basically is. Especially when he became a robot for a while. What? Yeah. yeah no, don't elaborate, it's comics. Oh, my favorite yeah. gimmick. Now you should have weapons to light it up, though, right? Yeah, good. kinda. I mean, we can just kill things. Oh. I also really like that you can't see the safe zone, so... I don't really like how there's no indication that you're gonna take a hit when the... Well, I mean, not just from the darkness effect, but when the counter goes all the way up, there's no sound effect, there's no nothing. It's just, oh, you lost some health. I mean, it turns red. And besides, it's only like one pip, it's not like you're gonna miss it. That's I personally cool. appreciate that you can't get a damage hit out of a jump. Yeah, that would be annoying, but... Yeah, the, ga the game is pretty good at avoiding that kind of thing. I mean, they could at least make Elf say, ah! You know, my favorite quote of hers. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can only get so much out of voice actors. <laughs> I have a friend who does, like, like voice acting for, like, community projects. And he'll post his casting calls sometimes that, like, they send out. And it'll be like, I'm doing a historical epic uh, about, like, the Chinese Revolution. I need someone to play Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's like, oh, okay. That's like, what? Sonic of Guanzi. <laughs> no, exactly! Like, where it's like this whole this whole detailed thing, and then it's like, and, and we need like a Mario as well. Oh my god, it's the inventor of Brazos. Yeah, it's time for the fight with Brazo. Brazo probably has like the most complex pattern of any boss in the game. He has like 12 attacks. Damn, okay. that's some Omega shit. Oh. I oh, so it. he's supposed to be like he's like evil zero, I guess, right? Yeah, like oh my god. Sorta, but we're zero, so <laughs> he has a gun. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't you feel foolish now? Nothing personal. He has a teleporting game. slash, which he will never ever bring out, like ever. Shit, the laser is like uh, that 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 mini boss in uh, zero four. You know the one with the personality. You're dying, dude. That's okay, he actually has giant inbuilt weaknesses. Like standing still for a lot of his attacks. You beat uh, Brazo Alp. That's a really dumb name. Now you should tell me. What? He thought he was a human? He's yeah. clearly a robot. I think he means human in the sense of I'm all, like just like a regular human reploid thing. Not like you're not actually either of those things. D does it actually matter in that grim future? Well, to be fair, if you're not human in the grim robot future, that probably means you c you're either like a giant threat to everyone around you, or you're like an alien. No, no. By C by C X, it's like you are you you maploid. It doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, like like in C X, everybody's like a robot or human or whatever, and nobody gives a shit. It's like that's like the whole point of that. Of I, I think it's the difference between like say a robot like building a toaster, and then you're also a toaster, but you have a bomb in you. <laughs> but that would be a mechanoloid then. If I become a cyborg, I want to be a. I want to be part toaster in the future if that becomes an option. Like, you'd always have toast. It'd be great. Are you gonna be like one of those toasters? I do bagels too. Is yeah. It, whenever you feel useful, you can say at least I can roast bread. 
Yeah, exactly. Or, or you like roast bread, you toast bread. All the people are gonna make jokes at your expense all the time. Like, haha, did certain LP or record their gameplay on you? <laughs> Let's Plays will exist in the far distant future, of course. It's far more important question. Video is, games still exist. There are the slots. The only video the the game bread that bread exists in the far future is actually YouTube Simulator. <laughs> oh, no! no. Uh, you can use VR to replicate the experience of watching a chip cheese and let's play on a monitor. It's great. You can even so see the monitor when they're doing something wrong. Yeah. That is a big a, chandelier. A realistic uh, CG, like, VR Dark Side Phil will come by and play games badly for you. Oh, yeah, I remember this room. Why the fuck is there a chandelier in this fucking room? It's just a bike place. Because where bikes otherwise it would out. be dark, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know it's not emitting light? It's supposed to be a nice place. This is how you know that this man is a successful business owner. <laughs> because I have many bikes. <laughs> he wasted all his money on a chandelier. <laughs> and bikes. bikes. <laughs> this dialogue is is fantastic. She said, I'm sorry for bringing up your trauma, and he said, I get over trauma anyway, it's fine. <laughs> hey, to be fair, that's, pre that's a pretty good healthy attitude. It's like, yeah, it happened, it's okay. <laughs> Character development over. Done. I can actually raise trauma, that's pretty cool. I'm a robot. <laughs> Just delete my memories. <laughs> that's a really weird thing to say. I mean, we're all robots, in, in, in the, if you think about it. <laughs> No. How? Bio machines, son. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, thank you. No, thank you.